Many people will complain when they are in a difficult situation or in poor health. They will blame heaven and earth. It is heaven that to be blamed. It is earth that to be blamed. Actually they all result from one's own non-virtuous mind and behaviors. That's right. But people don't acknowledge this. This thought itself is a severe karmic offense. This thought itself is a severe karmic offense. They're unwilling to self-reflect when things turn out undesirably. They don't admit their mistakes. They push the blame onto others. This is severe misdeed. This is severe misdeed. Yes. That's right. Next, Venerable Master, I want to ask about the root cause of abortion. Currently abortion is the effect. May I ask what the root cause is? If these girls and women were born 50, 60, or 100 years earlier, then there would not be so many abortions. So what is the root cause? It it greed. Greed? Yes. Greed for wealth, sex, fame, food, and sleep. For wealth, sex, fame, food, and sleep. That's correct. They are called the five desires. Five types of desires. Five types of desires. Yes. If you don't know the truth and become greedy for them, you will make mistakes. If you can see through the underlying truth, your mind won't be disturbed. The ancient Chinese had teachings on this. It is the education of ethics and morality. If you know ethics and morality, you will not be willing to do it. Why is that? It is because you will feel shameful. You will feel embarrassed to do it. If you know causality, you will not dare to do it. Knowing causality, you will not dare to do it? Knowing causality means knowing there are karmic consequences. These days there is no such education. People don't know this is a shame at all. When one doesn't have shame, one is finished. One is hopeless. Hopeless. The karmic consequences will definitely be the three evil paths. It will definitely be at the three evil paths, namely the animal realm, hungry ghost realm and the hell realm. Wealth, sex, fame, food and sleep. People have desires for all of these. But people, common people including me, all cling to wealth, sex, fame, food and sleep firmly. We think they are good things. But that is hell. These are the causes of hell. The Buddha said in the sutras that wealth, sex, fame, food and sleep are the five causes of hell. One of them will result in hell, left alone all five of them. How horrible. Yes. How can you stand it? You will forever stay in hell. Indeed, you can't get out since you have committed all five of them. You have all. But common people take wealth, sex, fame, food and sleep as their life goals. Every day they chase after these things and create karmic consequences for themselves. It is wrong. We didn't understand so we chased after them. Later, we learned Buddhism, ethics, and morality. Gradually, we understood and let them go. After letting them go, we become very happy. When we see people chasing after sensuality, we feel sorry for them. Such suffering. Such suffering. Totally different. So this thing is actually not a good thing. What you will get is not happiness but suffering. If you can really give them up, you will find happiness. You will realize that others are suffering. But only after you let go, can you find happiness. You won't realize it until you give them up. You won't be awakened until you let go of them. The number of abortions is shocking. It has become a trend. It is result of rampant spread of eroticism, which will incur catastrophes. There are two reasons for the rampant spread of eroticism. First is the absence of education. 
the education on ethics, morality, causality, and religion are lost. This is the first reason. Second is the propaganda from the media, which is overwhelming. That has resulted in this phenomena and this karmic consequence. That is the root. That is the root. Yes. The rampant spread of eroticism will incur disasters. Yes. The reason for widespread sexual misconduct is society being flooded with eroticism. That's correct. It will lead to confusion and deviation of the values of society. Who is responsible for that? Now I really agree with you. I am convinced that it is up to us who work in the media. They are the main culprit. The first to blame. So when I met Lu Changle, I started our conversation with to destroy or to save the world, you have the biggest responsibility. The world now has been ruined by people like you in the media. It is nearly doomed. Do you want to save it? If yes, you need to repent and rectify it before it is too late. If so, repent and take remedial actions. So I think it is not very difficult to salvage the world. Why? Human nature is originally good. The Buddha once said, all beings were originally Buddha. So it won't take long to return to the right path. We drew a conclusion from the experiment at Tang Chi, China. People are easy to teach. It is not as difficult as what we thought in the first place. People have been contaminated for so long and so severely. We advocated the teachings of guidance for being a good person and the accounts for request and response etc. We thought it would take two or three years for people to return to the right path. To our surprise, it took only three months. So easy to teach. It far exceeded our expectations. Our teachers were shocked. How is it possible? Therefore, at that time I told those teachers we shouldn't take the credit. We shouldn't think so highly of ourselves. This is due to the virtues of our ancestors. The virtues of our ancestors. Yes, it was due to the virtues of our ancestors and the blessings from the Triple Jewels.